hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our next.js crud application so guys as we have seen that we have already created how to insert the data into a database using the laravel api so now guys in this video we will be seeing how to get the data from the database using laravel api in next.js okay so first let's move to our code where our next crud application is and here we are following with the create file so let me close it let's create a file inside the students folder with the name index view so just add index dot view let's set up the template vbase hit enter so here it set up the code if you want how this is coming you can just install the extension of view volar and continue so this is my student page get started with the template design so i'm going to use the bootstrap classes for the designing purpose just add a card then card header then a h4 tag with the students lists student lists let me keep it capital and here we can create one a tag or a next link to navigate the page to the create page okay open and close where you'll mention add student okay and here you can redirect it to you tell that student slash create so what is the exact uh, path here it is students not student okay so you should see this folder name students slash then your create file name done and now let me just design button button primary float end okay let me minimize that so now guys um, let's begin with the card body card body here and inside this card body we'll start with the table design so as simple table dot table and yep table striped then table bordered and then guys you can start with the table head table row table heading that is id then the other fields whatever fields you have created so it's nothing but let me just show my database here is my students folder so i have name course email and phone so these are the four fields so you can just get back name course email and phone and then one finally um, let's add created at also and our action button as simple now guys you can get back to the table body and here table row and inside this table row you start with the table data giving your values okay so let's save guys and now you can get back to the google chrome and move on here so let's move to the students path where you see the design okay awesome so i just want to keep this inside a container guys so it will not be a mess just add a container here class container margin top 5 save it and everything is perfect that's it so now guys if you click on this add student you come to student slash create if you go back you move to home page why because you have not redirected correctly so what we can do we can just move to our create view and on the back button here you can push it to students students so this is nothing but the folder name okay now we can save it and close it here let's get back so we do not have a students navigation on your nav bar let me add that also so where is my nav bar let's move on the components and here is the header inside that header i have a nav bar so let me copy and paste here and just create a simple students save it students and now let's close this if you get back here students let's click on it students awesome so now guys let us just get this data and loop here so you can get back so first step let's move on the script tag 
on this export default let's begin with the data function open and close curly brace and then start with the mounted function open and close curly brace so inside this data function we are going to create a variable first where we store our students record so just create a students colon object now once the website is loaded we need to get the students data so what you can do let me create one method here methods colon open and close curly brace and here we create a function with the name get students okay let me make it capital here get students function open and close curly brace so now let's use axios dot get method then you get the response open and close curly brace and now guys what will be the api to get the data so we have already seen that let me show you here so this is a api so here is my api let me copy this and get back and paste here okay so if you don't have please watch out the video how to create a api in laravel i have taught that link given in the description okay from this response we take that r yes response dot data okay so whatever data is there you are going to push inside the variable called students so let's this dot students equal to just push it that's it guys then you can start calling this function inside your mounted function okay get student function here so when the page loads this mounted function is called and it is calling this function get student function and from that you are calling the api with the help of axios and now let us copy this axios and import it so make sure it's imported so it's already imported guys by default and now what we have to do let us get this students and loop it so you can just copy that and go to your table body so this is my complete table and inside this table body and table row add a v4 equals to students before that just add this in here your student or item and this is the key value index key values so you just need to add a key over here or else you'll be getting a warning okay so skip that warning we just add this index and this student you paste here open and close curly brace then dot id so this id is nothing but your response id okay so whatever you get in your api response now same way paste for each field so what are those fields name course email and phone so as simple name course then email and phone and one more that is your created at let me paste that created at and then finally the action button so right now we don't have but let me create that buttons so as simple guys we are going to create a next link and here you make it as edit button let's add a class to design this button 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 success let's make this button small and mx hyphen 2 as simple and this next link is for redirecting to some page right so let me keep it home page right now when we are going to work we will be seeing it so same way i'm going to copy and paste for the delete button so instead of next link here we will be using the simple button okay b o t t o n button you can just type and keep it as button that's it guys so now let us change this class save it now let's get back and see the output let's move here refresh okay so we get the two records why we have only one data but we are getting two records so let us see what is the issue get to the network and check for that axios call okay so here we see we find that students here 
and in this students let's go to preview here we have got the data perfect so we see guys that the student has an array of data where inside that it has a single record so we have got the data but we didn't loop it correctly so you can get back to console log and let's get back to the code so on this axios we are going to console log just use console.log and paste it get back refresh so here we see we have got the data so you see that status 200 and students so inside that students we find array of data okay so let's copy that and get back so here response dot data dot students you need to call it and then you are going to store inside the students variable you can just use this for the console log so we can get directly the student data now if you refresh perfect so here you see you have got this data and here also it's shown so now guys i just wanted to add a simple loading part so for that you can just go on the top inside the card body if you have seen previous video so in that i have created a loading component so we'll be using that same loading component just start with the open and close div and inside this i am going to use that loading component and here we pass a title equals to loading dot 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 as simple and then guys you can keep this table also in one div for the else part open and close div let me cut and paste here so this will be my v hyphen if so if where we'll tell is loading okay when it is true then show the loading v else save it and now is loading we have to create it so inside your data function just add this is loading true and then you move below here you use when the data is coming is loading and when the data is successfully loaded that time you can mention that it is false so you can add that false and let's comment this and now you can just get back to this loading so let me just show you what it is there in that loading code it's nothing but a simple spinner code from the get bootstrap let's close this and you can get back again let's save so now you can test it let's refresh here you see that loading icon comes now let me refresh again loading and then your data loads awesome so now guys let's add one more data here om prakash course bca gmail.com random digit phone number and let's click on save so saving student created successfully okay and now we can go back and you see that we have two records awesome guys so guys we have successfully learned how to fetch the data from the database using laravel api in Nuxt.js. so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video about how to edit this data and update it okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share